Good evening everyone, this is Samantha Jane, otherwise known as the Psychic Coach. I had a moment then because my phone decided to update itself so I wasn't 100% sure I'd be able to jump on live straight away. But here I am, how are you doing? If you are watching this live then drop me a little comment below to say hello. If you're watching it on replay then use the hashtag replay. How did you all get on last week? Did I help you? Let me know. Alright, so since Saturday we have gone through a change planetary wise and you may now be feeling driven. You should have been since Saturday feeling quite driven, feeling quite focused on achieving success, wanting to take action, recognising the need or the possibility to bring quite big hive on, to bring quite big changes in. And it's also been, and this continues to be, a time for spiritual growth, which again will be part of that desire to bring big changes in. Hi Lou, hi Kath, hi David. Can I ask you to share? <laughs> so, as I say, from Saturday, there are these energies that have come in that will have us very feeling very driven to succeed, very driven to take action, and actually taking that action and luck is very much on our side, all right? And so we also will be just wanting to achieve things that make us happier or that allow us to help other people to be happier as well. So this is very much about the benefit for the all good, the benefit for everyone kind of thing. So again, it's like there is opportunity for success, but it has to be coming from the right place. If you are trying to do things out of greed, jealousy, spite, things like that, you are not going to get anywhere right now because that is exactly what the world does not need right now. What the world needs is the love and the positivity and the high vibing people to succeed. That is what is going on. Hi, Kathy. Hi, John. All right, thank you for sharing, David. So we do have to watch as well at the moment for those energies or those ways of being might be a better way to word it, which is greed, jealousy, FOMO as I call it. Hi Sue, just watch for all of that because we may be being subjected to other people's behaviour, other people's ways of being because of it. All right, but we also need to be constantly taking check on ourselves and our own behaviour, that we are not coming from that place as well. All right? Now, tomorrow, the full moon comes in. And with that comes quite an increased um, emotional sensitivity. And because of that, I will warn you that stress and anxiety levels could rise from tomorrow. All right? It, because of the um, the reason for that is because we're going to be much more sensitive emotionally and therefore stress level is high we're also having confusion because we're picking up anxiety of other people so you may be going to a supermarket etc picking up the anxiety of the people around you it's not necessarily your own but it starts to trigger the fears and anxieties Hi everybody, and you will then be having that kind of stress and that confused thinking, all right, because of this increased sensitivity. So if you are empathic, you really need to be looking after your energy from tomorrow, because tomorrow's full moon will bring all of that in, but it will have already been creeping in anyway, all right? Now, another thing we need to be aware of with this full moon is the planetary influences around it really are about health and war, and illness, and all of that is involved in it. So as you can see, it's not really a good read um, for the way of the world at the moment. So be mindful as well that because of this stress and this anxiety level, it is affecting people's nervous systems, and because of that, they are more susceptible to um, the virus, that's all I'm going to say, and there, so there is an increased risk of illness, and this is why you hear me going on and on and on about needing to high vibe it, stay positive, switch off the negativity, switch off from people who make you anxious or stressful and things like that, and just stay, you know, stay in your own lane, as I always say. 
because this anxiety will have you feeling like you're wiped out. So watch your energy levels, watch your tiredness, be aware of taking care of your own health from Tuesday and, you know, hygiene, all of those kind of things. But know that actually the root of this illness comes from anxiety playing on you, playing on your body, weakening your immune system, stressing out your nerves, and that is when these things can, can take root in us because we are basically run down. So it is really important to be maintaining your mental health with this full moon as well as your physical health, all right? Now we also, because of this heightened emotional state from tomorrow's full moon, we also need to watch for experiencing things like paranoia, being suspicious. We also need to not engage in being dragged into negative conversation, into gossip, stuff like that. Am I resonating with any of you? Drop a comment if you're already feeling it or you can feel it coming in. Now, when we get to Saturday though, it actually clears up a little bit and you will have clearer thinking, okay? So therefore, Saturday is a good idea for business dealings. Business dealings will be much better held Saturday onwards than between now and Saturday. It's also a great time on Saturday to start to be working on your long range plans, all right? So, you know, if you're in business, I keep saying to my business coaching clients, this is a time to be rebranding, re tweaking your business, rebranding, refocusing, doing all of that. This is not a time to just do nothing and wait. You are supposed to be realigning your business as well as realigning yourself, all right? So work on your long range plans. That is also a great time if you are studying, then Saturday is another great one, or you, you may be learning something online, doing a course or whatever. It's a great time for teaching, a great time for learning, and because you have this clearer mind space to be taking information in. One of the key th things through all of this, though, is to have honest communication, and then there won't be the need for the paranoia. I've done a lot of relationship readings today, a lot of relationship readings today. So I would say to you, the cracks are starting to form. Just be very mindful, are your thoughts and feelings coming from yourself? Or is it from the externals? Because you are supposed to be getting more and more and more within yourself through this season and not out there totally scattered energetically, soaking up everyone else's negativity and anxiety. So if I am helping you so far, if some light bulb moments have occurred, then drop me a comment and let me know. I'm gonna switch over to the tarot now to bring through for you the tarot's insight how to step forward in a better way this week. So I hope it is helping you. Um, as I say, please share, share, share. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Margaret. And as always, I am going to say to you that this is a general reading. This is for everybody who is viewing. If you wanted a personal reading, you can do so through my website, which is needapsychic.co.uk. But this is general for everybody. And I say readings are for entertainment purposes, but take from it what resonates with you, what feels right, and just listen to the words and what feels right for you to hear today. Maybe you need to come back and listen again later in the week, but right now, listen to what resonates as your guides try and reach you through my work here tonight. So let's see what the week has in store for us, shall we? So, it is destined for things to start to move forwards. I actually feel today, although I reckon we've still got about another eight weeks, there is starting to be that sort of vision for the end of this season, the end of this chapter, and how we want things to be. As I said last week, while well, you should be approaching this, is it's a space to step back and reassess your life and how you want to move forwards in life. So for some, a big change may have already gone on. And that change still is a factor as we go into the week. Obviously, socialising has become difficult, but you know there is still online connections and things like that. But we certainly will be aware of friendships and people, even if we're not finding time and space to connect, 
we are certainly aware of the impact of people around us and their energies this week. And that's why I say become aware this week of how other people affect your energy. Now the change that many of us will be going through as we came into this week will be one that involves a beginning and the need to take a beginning. So again, this week could still feel a bit challenging, but actually there is victory in sight, there is reason to celebrate ahead, even if we're not there for a while, know that it is there, allow yourself to be abundant when you are looking ahead and seeing your future, your new life in your new world, okay? There, you know, and have some fun. The, the best way to tackle the anxiety aspects is to have fun, whatever your version of fun may be. So don't, don't hold back on having the fun. Life should not be this serious and this heavy as it is. And I don't want you falling into dark spaces because you're not keeping it light and keeping it high vibe. All right. Now in business, many of you may be needing to make decisions um, in business and work and weighing things up. There may also feel this surge of energy, as I've already discussed through the planetaries, a surge of energy and feeling the need to push forward and make some decisions about where you are going to take your business or what you want to study or what work you want to be doing when we finally come out of this grey bubble. All right, so just know that that is there. You, you know, don't focus on what has gone wrong in your business. Don't focus on what is no longer there because it's been removed by this. Instead, focus on what is still working and what is still happening. And then look at that and look at how you can then walk forwards from the place where you are today. Now, when it comes to love and relationships, and the emphasis really, really is on family this week. There is a need to take care of your own, to look after your own, all right? And again, to, the way to be, how can I word that? The way to be uplifting the, your family and those around you is to be making plans for the future, discussing plans for the future and all of that. And to watch that you are making your relationships hard work. I know from the readings I'm doing, that relationships that were perhaps under strain before we came into lockdown are now incredibly hard work. But there is opportunity here to turn your relationships around by putting the work into them. That is part of your choice in how you step forward into your new world when we come out of this chapter. So spiritually, it really is this week, and in fact, for the next two weeks, it's very much about recognizing that your world is in your own hands, and you are going to create this, and you are going to be the one who brings in the changes and the choices, and choose how you step forwards and how you create. I must point out as well that with this full moon, it's actually really putting us into a creative space when it comes to law of attraction. So be very, very mindful of what you are putting out into the world because what you will find is that if you are focusing on the negative, focusing on the anxiety, then you are going to get more of that. If you are somebody who is obsessing over watching the news, watching every little piece of information about that virus, trying to piece it all together, the universe will decide that you want to experience it firsthand. So again, watch what you are focusing on. Focus on the positive, focus on walking forwards and not on going backwards. It is also a season for people stepping in from the past be very mindful of that as well. Remember, we're in a, a season of clearance, of um, cleansing, clearing, healing, all of that, and it's all the old stuff as well. So if somebody from your past is coming in, has popped back in, before you step full on thinking it's the love of your life, etc., etc., be very mindful of whether really what they represent is something that needs to be healed for one or both of you. What does that person from the past represent? What are they showing you you don't want as you step forward into your future? All right, so I hope that helps and that makes sense to you. But keep your eye on the victory, 
on the long-term victory, think about where you want to be in six months' time. How will you want your life to be? And instead of allowing anxiety to grow and for you to truly struggle with that, this is a week to truly get comfortable with this change and with this shift that we are going through. So I hope that that helps you this evening. I'm going to pop over into my private group now and do some one-to-ones. So if I have helped you, please drop me a comment and let me know. Um, as I say, this is a week to truly be positive. Truly, truly, truly be positive and choose to enjoy lockdown, right? You're not in prison. You're in the comfort of your own home, with hopefully with people that you love. Enjoy your space here. Enjoy this time, which is supposed to be for you to reassess your life and where your life is going and where you're going to take your children in the, with that journey as well. Have an amazing time and I hope to see you all soon. See you in the group. Bye.